Hello, welcome to today's video. This is a supplementary video for us to be a little more comfortable and to get used to playing with rotated fingerings. And so what we're going to do is this is going to be called four finger exercise number two, part one I suppose, because we're only going to be using the fingers of P, I, and M, but mostly I and M because those are the ones we're starting with right now. Okay, we're going to start on on that G right there, that G string. And so what we're going to do you guessed it, we're going to practice rotating from one finger to the next. We're going to start with I and M first. Okay, so we want to use a metronome, keep it at 60, and practicing just playing the strings, one we're playing the strings with the fingerings, one right after the other. Let's start with G. We're going to do it one time going up and then one time coming down. We're going to do P, I, and M. Ready? One, two, three. Repeat that G. Okay, now bring down A. So you can see we did that one twice. Now, after A, we're going to go to B. Mute, and then after B, we're going to C. I suppose we'll just do that one twice. And then to D. After D, E. Always going from one finger to the next. You can go ahead and say the finger in two if you want. P, I, M, M, I, P. Now F, P, I, M, M, I, P. And now G. P, I, M, M, I, P. Mute. So we went from this G to that G, moving up in an octave. Now, let's practice just with I and M. That may be the most difficult to work with. Let's go ahead and just play I and M, rotating back and forth, or left from one finger to the next, starting from low G to the high G. Ready? Here we go. Just I and M, and we're going to say the finger name as we do it. One, two, we're going to do it twice per finger. One, two, three, four. I, M, I, M, A, I, M, I, M, B, I, M, I, M, C, I, M, I, M, D, M, I, M. Now E, I, M, I, M, F, I, M, I, M, and then G, I, M, I, M, mute. Very good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to practice one more exercise. This is still five, four finger exercise number two, part one, and we're going to practice playing half notes going from one string to the other, rotating as we do it. We're not going to repeat the same string twice. We're just going to play it once, but as half notes. So this will help us to go from one string to the other, rotating the fingerings. Starting on I. Ready? Starting on G. Here, this G. One, two, go ahead and prepare your next string for A. One, two, three, I. M, I, 
M I M I M. Let's go backwards. Start it on M M I M I M I M I. It's kind of like playing a G major scale, but with the flat or with the natural F. Okay, practice this exercise every day. Start with P I P I and M, I and M, going with the strings, repeat it, but then moving along from one string to the next. Do this as many times as possible so that you can become comfortable rotating the fingerings as you pluck the strings and not just playing one finger on strings multiple times. We don't that's not really good technique. We want to be able to give all fingers an opportunity to pluck or to strum. So that will help us to practice and whenever we're ready, we can transfer it to our music and play with rotating fingerings. For example, like that waltz right there. Okay, so practice every day and we will see you at next lesson.